friends, it's me, Boogie. And maybe you've taken my boxing cardio classes at Daily Burn. Um, so you know that after a workout, we get pretty sore sometimes. And what I like to do, it's a great addition to our cool down, is SMR. What's that? Self myofascial release. So if you think of your muscles, they're small little fibers um, and they're all together. Uh, imagine, do you imagine the casing of a sausage? Yeah, it's just like that. So there's a bunch of small little fibers together. That's what makes up your muscles. And sometimes they get really tight and they, and they get balled up, right? So that self myofascial release is us manipulating that muscle so it doesn't get balled up because then that's what causes our joint pain and just pain in general. So a lot of people like to use a foam roller. Awesome. But I like to use a sphere because the shape of a sphere helps you um, get areas that you might not get with just a flat foam roller. You can use a softball or a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. Um, but I have my hyper ice hyper sphere and get this, it vibrates. So it vibrates as you're foam rolling, which helps relieve pain. It increases your range of motion and you get better blood circulation and it just feels better overall. Just like, just feels good. You know, we like that. Um, and there's three different levels of vibration. So you can really tailor your experience and how you want to feel. So after a boxing cardio workout with my cool down, I'd like to hit my back. So I'm gonna take my hypersphere. I'm just gonna place it on my lower back. My feet are on the ground and so are my elbows so I can relieve like the pressure that's going into the ball. You can make it less or you can put more weight on. And just slowly, about 20 to 30 seconds per muscle group. Yeah, it's, oh yes. Now, if you do feel like a sweet, a sweet spot, that tight spot, that sweet, sweet nugget, see if you can just stay in that area for another 20 seconds until you feel about like 50% less pain. Oh yes, there it is. And once you finish your lower back, I like to take it up and hit my upper back. You know, we're throwing these punches using that strength in our back. So we really wanna hit our entire back, yeah? So my hands are on the ground, my elbows are really like kind of lifting my torso up off the ground here so that I can put more weight just 20, 20 to 30 seconds is good for each muscle group. And once I finish that, I, I want to hit my lats because that's the, also a back muscle here, right under your armpit. So I'm gonna to come to my side. I place that hypersphere right close to my armpit and my pinky is down, my thumb is facing up. I'm just gonna roll, it might be a little bit tender and that's okay, we breathe through it. Oh yeah, there it is, that good, good spot. Awesome, once you hit both sides of your lats, then I like to combine it with a little static stretch. So I'm just going to take a child's pose, I'm gonna pull my hips back and reach my arms out long, that's where I really feel that lat stretch here. And if I'm tucking my pelvis under here, like I'm scooping my belly in, I can feel that stretch in my lower back as well. And once I finish stretching my back, then I like to hit my chest and my shoulder area right here. So I'm gonna come down to my stomach. I place that ball right here, like right in between my chest and my shoulder and just roll slowly roll around here. I feel almost like an inchworm. You gotta like inch your body up on the ground. Slowly, oh yes. And from here we can also hit our arms. So you can place your bicep right on top and slowly roll it back and forth, about 20 seconds. And we can also just hit that entire arm. You can bring your arm forward roll it up to back. You can also elevate it. You can bring a chair so that you are 
rolling here and you have less pressure. Um, after I finish that, I want to combine it with the scorpion stretch. Uh, so I'm going to come to my stomach. I'm going to reach my arm straight out beside me, not above me, but beside me. And then I'm going to cross my leg over my body. And so here I feel the stretch. I feel it in my, in my bicep as well and my shoulder and my chest here. And I'm going to do this on both sides. Yes. This is nice. This is actually my favorite stretch in the world. Awesome. So that's what I like to do. It's a great addition to our cool down after our boxing cardio, and it helps us relieve pain. So you're not as sore the next day. And isn't that, isn't that a treat? Yeah, it is. All right, I will see you next time.